Hi, I'm back. Um, got a bit carried away with my first swipe on the other video. Um, I did what I think a lot of people do. I got a bit carried away. I kept fiddling with it and basically just ended up with a big mess. So I have done it again. I've used a bit more restraint. Um, I've used fewer colours, which obviously isn't on its own isn't as pretty or attractive. But the whole point of me doing this is I am looking for a way to create an unusual background for my paintings um, rather than just doing trees and sky. I wanted to do something a bit different. So that's why on this, this um, dirty pour I've just used like a pale blue, white and green and there's a little bit of gold in there as well. Um, I'm really pleased with this. I put less paint on and I, when I did the swipe, I did it very, very lightly, not applying much pressure at all. And I have warmed it a little bit with a hairdryer to encourage the development of cells. But to be honest, um, the paint was sort of creating them quite easily on its own anyway. And this I'm quite pleased with because it's, it is the sort of effect that I want. You can see I've got a really good variety of cells, all different colours, different sizes, sorry. And to me, this could easily be developed into a bit of a creepy forest, I think, which would be great. It's exactly the sort of effect that I'm after, actually. I might try it again, but replace the white paint that I put on first for the background, I might replace that with black to make it look a little bit more gothic-y, a bit more atmospheric. But I'm loving the technique. I'm making the biggest mess you've ever seen. I am covered. It has actually even dripped on the cat's tail, all over the floor, all over the table. But great fun. And the lovely thing is you can't be 100% sure how this technique is actually going to develop when you pour the paint. So it's uh, it's really exciting. I love it. Glad I've given it a try. Seen a lot of other people using the technique on YouTube and I was dying to have a go and I'm glad I have now. So all you've got to do is mix the paint beforehand with a little bit of water, a little bit of flow improver and then add a little bit of silicon and it's the silicon that bursts the paint in these little bubbles and gives you these lovely cell effects. <laughs> 